In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a whiteboard with your Google Meet platform. Now, one of the disadvantages of Google Meet is that it does not have a whiteboard built into it, like Zoom, for example. However, there are some advantages to the Google Meet platform. And the whiteboard that we're going to be using today happens to be included in the Google suite of applications. So it's kind of very seamless and it's all there that you can actually use. So let's get started. Now, uh, when you get to your email account, you'll see this little nine dot square and we're going to open first our Google Meet. So scroll down to this particular icon. Again, if you don't see it, you can just scroll or download the application, but we're going to start our Google Meet. And one of the things I love about Google Meet is that it does have this particular screen where you can join or start a meeting. And what's nice about this is I can give my meeting a nickname. Okay, so I'm just going to call it um, whiteboard demo. Okay. And what that does is it gives it my it gives my Google Meet a measure of security that only people, for example, who know the particular name of the of the um, of the meeting can, can go ahead and access that. But also in our particular account, anybody who has our uh, school account or SHCP uh, email can actually access this meeting. Okay, so there's my whiteboard demo. I'm going to get ready to join here in just a second. Up oh, there I am. Hello. And then I just go ahead and join now. And now I'm inside my Google Meet. Okay. Let me just click out of there. And there I am. Now, once I'm in here, you'll notice down along the bottom, I can do a present now, turn on captions, etc., etc. This is where I leave the call. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go back up to here and I'm going to go ahead and add go back again to this particular your apps and make sure that your Jamboard is available. Now see this Jamboard? It looks like a J but it's actually just a circle and a rectangle. I'm not sure why they call it a Jamboard. A whiteboard would have been just fine. But notice I already had a Jamboard in there. I'm just going to get rid of it for just and show you why Jam removed. This is what will happen when you enter Jamboard for the first time. It'll be completely white. What you need to do is go down to this lower right hand side and click the plus button, which is a very Google uh, Google application type thing that you use in a number of uh, in a number of applications. And you'll see what pops up is something that looks a lot like a Google Doc, right? And you'll notice some things are very similar. I can just go ahead and give my Google Doc a new name. Let's call this whiteboard demo again. Okay which is again very similar to a Google document. I can share my document over here, but I can share this the same way I can share the, uh, the Jamboard itself. We'll get to that here in just a second. But this is what's different about the uh, whiteboard. It's pretty powerful in the sense that it has this, all these applications over here, all these little, little suite of things. Let's just go through them real quickly. Here's my pen. The nice thing about my pen is I can do different type widths of the point. I can do different colors. Let's just use this particular one here. I got this kind of black. I got that pen. Go ahead and click on it. And then you're able to write something here. Okay. All right. So you get the idea. You can go ahead and write on this whiteboard pretty easily. All right. I can use this second one to erase parts. For example, I'm going to do it that way, which is a little bit cumbersome. Or I can just go ahead and clear the frame of everything that I've done. Let me just go ahead and put something up there again. Actually, let me just scroll down to here where I can add an image. This is what I love about this. If you, for example, already have a, an image that you want to use or a PowerPoint, or excuse me, a Google slide that you want to use, I'm just going to go ahead and add this image. And again, this is familiar to people who use Google. I'm just going to go to my desktop. And I'm going to scroll to something that I already had in here. Let's just see what I've got. There we go. Here's something from, from my math class is a trigonometry application. And here is my image. Okay. This is great for science, great for math, really good for just about every subject. And again, I can go ahead and write 
right on there. Let's say I'll just call this height of the building, already known. All right, I can just do something like here. Actually, let me just go ahead and clear that part of it. That wasn't very well done. And I'll call this my right angle. Anyway, you get the point, right? And I've already started to create, for example, like my lesson, just like I'm drawing on the board. The other nice thing I can do here is I can just use this laser. And if I wanted to say something like, and I just, as I was talking, I just wanted to point that. I just said, look, there's the height, but notice that it disappears after a few seconds. That's like I have 30 degree angles there. There's my right angle there, et cetera, et cetera. Now, once I've go ahead, uh, gone ahead and done that, I can actually go up here and actually can add more jam boards, right? So I can put a, th a second image here or a third image here. I don't have to keep on going back to the first image, right? And just do the whole process over again. And in fact, I can actually have all those ready to go. Now, once I've done that, and here's the part that I love. I forgot to say, let me just go back. I can actually, as I was doing that, I can present, go down to your lower right hand side. And let's say I had all my students in the class. I'm going to present my entire screen. There's my screen. I'm going to have to go ahead and select it first. You'll notice that this box appears around it. And then I'm going to share. Everybody now who is in the Google Meet now should, will be able to see what's going on. Okay, hold on. I don't know why that happened. Hold on, let's try this again. Let's do a present now one more time. Choose it, share it, and then click back to your whiteboard. Okay, and now I'm presenting to everybody. Now everybody can see what I'm doing here on the board. Now, if you want them to be able to access this board and actually write on it themselves, this is when you go to the share function. So go to the share. Right now it's private to me, so I'm going to change it so that anybody with this link can access it. But to be a little bit more secure, I'm just going to go here. Anybody um, at Sacred Heart Cathedral Prep with the email that I have will be able to uh will be able to view this, but also be able to be sharing in the Jamboard. I'm going to go down here where it says can view and I'm going to make them can edit. I'm going to save it that way. And then I'm going to go ahead and find this. This link has been highlighted. So I hit control C and now it is copied. I'm done. I'm going to go back to my meeting. Go to the chat. Go here, and I'm going to send that link, control V, to everybody in the meeting. All they need to do then is to click, give it a second, and there it is. Now my Jamboard is not only being demonstrated to everyone, but now anybody who I sent this link to can actually go ahead and there we go. Add their, uh, it's like a shared document, right? It's a shared whiteboard. So if someone come up, I can call on somebody and say, please point out to me, for example, where the 30 degree angle is. And they would go down here and they could do that. And there it is. And I know. So it's like an interactive whiteboard where the student doesn't really even have to go up to the board, rather, but they could do it from the safety of their own seat at home. Okay, so that's pretty much how I would use I, my whiteboard or Jamboard with my Google Meet. Again, this is actually pretty nice. And then I can go ahead and open it up on my Jamboard and it is now saved. All right. Okay, I hope that was helpful. So again, the steps are fairly easy. Make sure that you have both your meeting and your Jamboard already set up. You can have multiple Jamboards up here. You can download images here. And again, you can go ahead and go to the share function 
when you want other students to be able to work on the Jamboard after, for example, it is all done. So it's like saving the lecture. And then finally, the last thing is when you're in your meeting, go down to the share function. Maybe I'm just going to stop it for just a second. Go down to your share function down here and present to everyone and give them the meeting or give them the uh, URL to the Jamboard. Okay, I hope that was helpful to you, and uh, let me know if you have any questions.